Uh, she's spending time on the ground. She's spending time working on her thesis. Um, I'm Dixie Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> I am Lindsay Lohan's cousin. You might know me. Dixie! Dixie, I love you! I have a Twitter account. Look it up. Uh, is Lindsay here? I really, I invited her. Ouch! <laughs> well, it could be the Twitter fight. I called her problematic. <laughs> this is my first ever story that I've ever written. Um, Sophie's been coaching me on what not to do, and I forgot everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, no title. <laughs> okay. I'm a little nervous, and I'm proud to be on stage. <laughs> If Lindsay watches this later. <laughs> Once upon a time, Roxy woke up to the sound of her alarm. She was tired and the floor felt cold beneath her feet. Ah! Oh, she ejaculated loudly. <laughs> so cold. Oh, sorry, Tixie doesn't work fast. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Roxy went to the bathroom and stood in front of the mirror. She had just cleaned with the mirror with Windex. The mirror was Windex clean and she looked good. <laughs> I hate you, she said to the mirror. <laughs> I love you, the mirror said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't believe you, Roxy said. The mirror went suddenly silent and the glass was just glass but angry glass. <laughs> In the kitchen, the sun streamed sunny through the blinds, and her fridge was full of half-drunk protein shakes and too many jars of jam. <laughs> Roxy sighed. Today was the first day of rest, the rest of Roxy's life, and all she had was old jam. <laughs> I'll have to go grocery shopping after Calvin proposes to me today, Roxy said to the jars of jam. <laughs> At the very least, get bread, the jam said. <laughs> no bread! Yelled the mirror from the bathroom. No bread! It said again, and the phrase echoed throughout Roxy's apartment as if a revolution was starting in a town square, and her apartment was the town square the revolution was starting in. <laughs> and then her phone rang. Roxy jumped in surprise. She'd left her phone on the bathroom sink, and she heard it vibrate itself onto the floor. <laughs> it's probably Kelvin, Roxy thought to herself. I bet he's so nervous to propose. <laughs> I'm putting you on speaker, Roxy said to Kelvin as she picked up her phone from the bathroom floor and put Kelvin on speaker. <laughs> oh, great, I'm going to have to listen to this shit now, the mirror said. <laughs> Who is that? Calvin asked. Are you alone? <laughs> yeah, I'm alone. What's up, honey? Do I missed you so, so, so much. <laughs> Babe, we gotta talk. <laughs> Calvin said after a long pause. Uh-oh, said the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy stood in front of the mirror and mouth shut up to it. <laughs> <laughs> then let her mouth hang open, not breathing. <laughs> You look like a zombie who's just seen a ghost mirror mouth back. <laughs> Roxy started crying as Calvin said, Babe, I met someone over here in Calcutta. And Roxy's heart broke into a million pieces like the mirror sheet when she punched it, which was right now. <laughs> Roxy punched the mirror right now. And it broke into a million pieces right now. And the mirror said, Ouch! Right now. <laughs> Rocks, Calvin said. What was that noise? Did something break? Only my heart, you bastard! <laughs> Roxy screamed into the phone, and the phone was all static and her shrieking. <laughs> Don't be a noisy bitch, Calvin said. <laughs> I second that, the mirror said a million times at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding, Roxy said, looking at her bloody knuckles. Dramatic much, Calvin said. Who is she? Roxy asked. Do I know her? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Roxy fell to her knees and her knees became bloody against the million jagged mirrors. <laughs> you know sh who she is, the million mirrors said a million times. 
It's L, Roxy said. My famous cousin. <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Calvin, isn't it? <laughs> Duh, Calvin said. <laughs> I thought you were going to propose today, Roxy said, crying. <laughs> I did propose today, Calvin said, to L, your famous cousin. <laughs> Bazinga! The men were the scattered of the sun. Roxy over a million pieces of broken mirror and could see her vagina in a half a million of pieces. And her vagina looked good. She <laughs> had a half a million soft, pink, crying eyes. <laughs> well, I touched myself thinking about that time I had sex with Brian Gosling this morning, Roxy said. This was fun and I don't even care. <laughs> she did do that, the half million pink guys said, but she does care. <laughs> Calvin sighed as if bored. Roxy started picking up the pieces of mirror, starting with the runs, ones reflecting her vagina. <laughs> well, I gotta go, babe, Calvin said. I'll see you at the wedding. It's gonna be big. Huge. Click. Roxy flung herself on the bed and got her sheets bloody with her knuckles. Hey, I'm still down here on the floor, the broken mirror said. You've not, you're not finished picking me up. Christ, shut up, Roxy said. You're a frugging psycho. <laughs> Everyone could stand to be a little sweeter to each other, the fridge jams said. Roxy cried for hours and hours, and then her famous cousin called. I guess Kelvin told you, she said. Am I on speaker? Gosh, Roxy, Calcutta is beautiful. I can't wait till the wedding. Did you get the 20% off Hilton Honors card I sent? There's a Hilton here. I've locked off some rooms. This is just like Tad in seventh grade, Roxy said. I knew you said you'd say that, Elle said. I guess you're right. Calvin's hotter, though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I need you to do something for me tonight that I can't do because I'm in Calcutta with Calvin. <laughs> What do you want, Roxy said. You're such a whore. <laughs> I know, Elle said. Anyway, there's a speech that I'm supposed to give in Cleveland, Ohio at some dinner, and I can't because I'm in Calcutta with Calvin. Calcutta with Calvin, Calcutta with Calvin, the mirror pieces said, as if meditating on the floor. What's a speech have to do with me? Can't you get Alyssa Milano to do it? <laughs> no, it has to be you. Who's the speech for? All of the past and future presidents of the United States and the entire country, <coughs> everyone is going to be there. Except me and Calvin. Okay, I'll do it, Roxy said. I'll do it too, I'll do it too, I'll do it too, the mirror said, gathering itself together by forces previously unrecognized. <laughs> the stage in Cleveland was bright. The lights in Cleveland were bright. <laughs> the crowd in Cleveland was bright and fashionable. <laughs> and Roxy, behind the stage, waiting to be introduced as Elle, was like, O-M-G. <laughs> the small, compact mirror in her pocket said nothing much, except you are so flipping hot, young girl, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you, Roxy told the mirror. The mirror shrugged. You don't have to believe me to make it true. Shut up, Roxy, mouth to the mirror. <laughs> you might get to fuck Ryan Gosling again tonight because he's here and girl, you look good. <laughs> the mirror mouth back. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy heard Elle's name introduced and the crowd went silent as a porno on mute. <laughs> she moved to the <laughs> seven seconds ago, L asked me to come speak to you and say something, and something within me just said, just do it, but not in a Nike way. <laughs> nope to Nike. <laughs> I hope you bear with me because I haven't written anything down. Oh, my heart is broken. It hurts. Everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like I should have something wise to say. Well, why shouldn't it be me? It can be you tomorrow if you want. Okay, first of all, fear is a liar. 
Second of all, fear is a liar. <laughs> Third of all, fear is a goddamn liar. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, Abe, but you know it's true. <laughs> Seriously, nope to fear. <laughs> I woke up this morning to the sound of my alarm and looked at my mirror and said, I hate you. After that, the rest of my day blew so many sweaty balls because my mirror was pissed. <laughs> Never tell your mirror you hate it. Never tell anything you hate it. Don't hate anything because you're afraid. Better yet, don't be afraid, and if you are, don't hate the fear you see in the mirror. Nope. <laughs> like everything, all of this, you, me, Ryan Gosling, hate, fear, love, L. Calvin, is one thing. All of us are part of this one thing. So you have to love the hate, and love the fear, and love the love, and love you and me and Ryan Gosling, and Elle and Calvin. It's like a big ball of some really freaky liquid that gets all solid and chunky in the parts that aren't loved. It's like a party in Calcutta that everyone is invited to that's going on all the time. Don't make the awesome freaky liquid gross and chunky. <laughs> Don't ruin the party in Calcutta. <laughs> that goes double for you, the compact mirror said from Rocky's, Roxy's pocket as she walked off to the stage into the night. So true, Roxy said to the mirror. So true, Roxy mouthed to the starry sky. <laughs> <laughs>